Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Goodwill bins haul for you guys. I went to the Goodwill bins this weekend and I had not been since before COVID so it was very exciting and I did pick up some really cool stuff. So a lot of bread and butter, nothing too too exciting but I wanted to show you what you can get at the Goodwill bins. Um, I paid $36 so I paid 80 cents Per item, I got a nearly 50 items. So we're gonna jump right in and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I got at the bins. If this is your first time watching my channel, don't forget to like this video. If you like reselling content and subscribe to my channel. If you are interested, I post a lot of what sold videos and I'm very, very excited to continue to grow my YouTube channel. So thank you guys for being here and let's get right into it, okay. The first item that I picked up was this maternity dress from Target. It was Isabella maternity. I just thought it was cute and for Ben's price, I can probably get, I don't know, 15 bucks, maybe 20 for this, probably more like 15, but that's a great turnaround. The next item is this Madewell top. And yes, it is just a basic tee. But since it is made well, I can probably get about 15 bucks for it. And it did have the Goodwill tag on it for $6. So obviously I wouldn't have picked this up for $6, but Ben's price is awesome. And I did get a lot of jeans, which I normally don't pick up, but I got some good jeans. Okay, so the first pair are these pencil jeans with this cute little zipper and they are new with tag and tailor and they're even the new tag. They're a great size, size 12. Like I really just wanted to keep these for myself. I'll probably get around 30 bucks for these. Not bad for 80 cents. The next item is this super, super cute top from Zara. I'm obsessed. I thought it was so stinking cute. This is the tag if you're not familiar with Zara. So cute. Um, I'll probably get 15 for that. Um, the next item I got was just this simple Talbot's tee. I will probably get about 10 bucks for this. The next item I got is some plus size shorts. I actually got a few pair of plus size shorts and these are a size 22. Torrid. Torrid's a great brand. They sell plus size clothing clothing, and people really, really like them. So let me look up comps. I've actually never sold Torrid shorts before. So I just want to look up comps real quick. So I don't tell you guys the wrong amount. Okay. So I'm thinking I'll get about 15 bucks for these, maybe 20, but we'll just say 15. And then again, another pair of Torrid shorts. Someone donated all of their shorts, size 20 about 15 bucks next up we have a pair of really cute levi jeans they are a boot cut they are the curvy boot cut which these are so stinking cute goodwill had them priced for eight dollars and 69 cents these are a size six very very cute and I will probably get 25 bucks for these. Next up, we had, I grabbed these for a specific reason. I probably wouldn't have normally grabbed them, but they're a girl's size 14. And I actually have some consignment items going for girl's size 14. So I picked these up to just throw in one of those lots because 80 cents, you know, might as well pick them up. And they were new with tags. They're just a Walmart brand black faux leather jegging, but I thought it'd be, you know, fun to add into those lots. Goodwill had them priced for five bucks. So yeah, let's just say 10 bucks for these for the purposes of adding it all up. Okay, I thought this was so cute. Next up, we have this American Eagle mini dress. So stinking cute. It is a size extra small. It's like a very nice material, knitted lace. I'll probably get about 15 for this one. 
Next up, we have this super cute knee length dress. This one is from Old Navy. Old Navy dresses in bigger sizes actually do really well for me. This is an extra large, long sleeve. So cute, I'll probably get 12 bucks for that one. Maybe 10. Um, okay, next up we have another pair of Levi's boot cut. So stinking cute. Levi's do really, really great for me. And these are girls actually, so that's even better. They're a girl's size 12 and a half. So cute. I bet I'll get 20 bucks for these and Goodwill had them priced for $9. I only play, paid 80 cents. Okay, so next I picked up just because I love Selena. Just this basic Selena tee. It's not vintage or anything like that. It's just, you know, current brand. It's a size extra large. I might keep this for myself. I'm probably going to keep this for myself. <laughs> okay, next up we have this Calvin Klein sweater. It has a really pretty silver zipper which i just thought was so cute calvin klein i really like selling calvin klein it does super super well it's ribbed long sleeve i'll probably get about 20 bucks for this one next up we have this victoria secret pajama shirt probably get about 10 bucks maybe eight next up we have this american eagle top so cute. It is a newer tag, American Eagle, size medium. I thought it was so cute. You probably get 15 bucks for that one. AG Denim. AG is a really good denim brand. I will show you the tag. Adriana Goldschmied is the brand. These are a size 28, so not too bad of a size. I think these will do really, really well. Let me look up comps. I will probably get 25 bucks for these. So not bad for 80 cents. I was very ex excited to find those. Okay, so I did pick up a lot of old navy jeans because I found a lot of the rock stars. The rock star are an, a style of old navy jeans that actually do really well. The rock stars can go from anywhere from 15 to 25 bucks. So for the purposes of this video, I'll just say 15. But these are a really great size. They're a size 14. They're in almost brand new condition. So super cute. If you haven't tried the Rockstars like for yourself, definitely do. They're a really good jean. They have a little bit of tummy control, but they're not too tight where you can't like, you know, eat a good meal. So yeah, got some of these. We're going to say 15 bucks. Next up, we have this Torrid pair of shorts. Another torrid pair. These are plus size two. I thought these were so cute. We're gonna say 15 bucks on these. Next up, we have another Old Navy Rockstar. This one has no distressing, very ultra high waisted. And these are a size two. So these are super tiny. We're gonna say 15 bucks on these ones, maybe 10, but we're gonna call it 15. Next up, we have this pair of swim trunks. They were brand new with tag and it did show that they got them at Ross for $17. I'm thinking I can probably get about 15 bucks for these. Men's brand new with tag. Can't beat that. Next up we have the Old Navy Pop Icon Skinny. These were a bigger size, a size 14 again, in almost perfect condition. We're going to call this 15 bucks. Like I said, I got a lot of jeans. Next up, we have these Gap maternity jeans in a size 30. I normally don't pick up maternity, but these were boot cut, which is trending right now. And I just thought, why not? Super cute. I paid about 80 cents. So I'll probably get about 15 bucks for these. Now, I don't normally pick up these brands at like Goodwill because at my Goodwill, jeans are almost $9. So I would not be profiting anything at all for picking those up. So like I said, at the bins, I am willing to pick up some more lower end items. The next item that sold are these Old Navy curvy boot cut jeans. These were in a bigger size, size 16, very basic, but they will still sell. I'm going to say I'll probably get yeah, 
10 bucks for these probably because they're not the rocks there they're just normal boot cut so we'll call these ten dollars next up i got new um this j crew it is a size zero but they are these super cute lace textured shorts i know it's a tiny size but for less than a dollar i'm definitely gonna pick these up i can might get 25 but i'm gonna call it 15 just for the purposes of this video to be very transparent Next up, I found a Jouet item. Jouet is a very fancy brand, um, not designer, but it is a nicer brand. Um, this is the old tag Jouet, so it is older, and it did have a flaw that I did see in the store, but I still picked it up because it's cashmere and wool, and I feel like someone is gonna want it. It has like an asymmetrical hem, which I thought is so cute, and this is the flaw. So I feel like someone can sew that up. And you know, I'm big about selling flawed items. I think they do really, really well. So with the flaw, I think I'll get about 20, 20 to 25 bucks for this. Without the flaw, probably would have been more like 40. But Jouet is a really, really good brand. And I do love selling Jouet. The next item I got is this Banana Republic sweater for men. Very cute. Size extra large tall, which I thought was good to know. Um, I did pick up a few men's items actually, and I am excited. This is 10% cashmere, so I will probably get 30 bucks for this one. Next up, we have these Tommy Hilfiger men's swim trunks. Probably get about 15 bucks for those. Then to the men's shirts. These are all extra large, tall, Banana Republic. Very cute um slim fit extra large i'm probably gonna say 15 bucks for this one and this was a j crew men's shirt probably get 15 to 20 bucks for this one and then i also found this vince men's shirt i love selling vince it is a super good brand um made with really nice fabrics, um, like material, high quality material. Anyways, love selling vents. I'll probably get 30 to 40 bucks for this one. And it is a men's. And then another Banana Republic sweater, extra large tall. Probably get 15 to 20 on this one. Very cute. And then Gianni Beanie is actually one of those brands that I don't pick up if I find it at Goodwill, but I did find it at the bins, like I said. So I went ahead and picked this one up. It is just a simple navy blue jumpsuit in a size large, but I just thought it was super cute and definitely worth it. Um, I'll probably get 15 bucks for this, maybe 20. So I did go ahead and grab that one. Another J Crew item, size medium, cable knit sweater, and the color is so gorgeous. I don't want to keep this one for myself, but I'm not going to. Probably 20 bucks for this one since it is a newer tag. Next up, if I can find the tag, we have this White House Black Market cardigan. This is like a chunky knit glitter cardigan with the little sleeve. I normally don't pick up White House Black Market anymore unless I can get it at the bins. Um, this I'll probably get 15 to 20 bucks, but I used to be able to get like 25 to 30, but I thought this one was just very in style. It looks kind of 90s. So cute. Next up, another J. Crew. Newer J. Crew tag, size extra small, wool sweater. Very cute. I bet I get 20 to 25 bucks for that one. Next up, American Eagle. Brand new with tag, paper bag waist shorts. Probably get 15 for these, maybe 10. Another men's shirt, an older tag, J. Crew, but it will still sell. This one's 100% cotton, size extra large. It's like a textured material, very, very cute. Probably 15, 20 bucks. More men's, I got a lot of men's. Banana Republic, extra large tall, 15. And then we got this Beverly Hills Polo, which I believe Beverly Hills Polo is Walmart. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. 
So we might only get like 10 bucks for this one. I could be wrong though. Next up, we have an Old Navy bootcut pair of jeans. They are plus size, probably get 15 bucks for those. Then we got a pair of silver jeans with the funky pockets. These are still very sellable on eBay and Poshmark. People really do like these. I would not pick them up at the Goodwill because like I said, they're priced for almost $9, but definitely at the bins, I will pick them up. They are a good size. They're a size 32. So I can probably get 30 bucks for these. Next up, we have a pair of Cabby jeans. Cabby is one of those brands that used to do a lot better for me, but I do still like picking it up if I can find it at a good price. It just doesn't sell for as much as it used to. These are a bootcut jean, which is great because those are coming back in style and this is a size six. So I will probably get 20 bucks for these. Next up, we have this loft top. It's like a textured dress. Oh, I said top, it's a dress. Very, very cute. Probably get 20 bucks for this one. We have another Old Navy pair of jeans, plus size, 15 bucks all day long. And then the last item, you guys, I was so surprised to find this because right when I saw it, I knew what it was. This American Eagle um, print was super hot right before the holidays and it sold out online like so fast. I know this because I wanted the pajama set and I couldn't get it. I mean, I, it sold out every time it restocked, it sold out. I couldn't get it and I found it at the bins. Like what the hell? Unfortunately, it's not my size. It's a size small. So I am super sad, but someone will love it. I think I can probably get 20 to 25 bucks for this since it is a hotter item. So that completes my Goodwill bins haul. Let me know if you like this kind of video. This is my first bins haul I've ever filmed for YouTube. So do let me know if you guys liked it and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.